Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is my guide to unlocking all the pets in Across the Obelisk. There are eight pets total, as you can see right here. So I'm going to show you how to unlock all of them. If you're looking for a particular one, use the timestamps to just go to that one. That's fine. Um, if you do get any value out of this guide, though, please hit that like button. Thank you very much. Let's go. All right, to unlock Betty, you need to come to this node right here in the first map. But keep in mind, um, it's not always here. It, it's only Betty if it is a blue rarity, the lost sheep node. If it's just the, the gray book, like this, gray book, um, it's not Betty. It needs to be the blue rarity. So in theory, this is the easiest one to get because it's on the first map. The whole thing's on the first map. But on the other hand, you got to get lucky. Anyway, let's jump in. You're going to want to do combat. You're not going to want to leave. So I'm going to do this combat, and then I'll be back, and we'll take a look at the next step. All right, so once you do that combat, you'll notice this weird path through here opens up for you. And this um, node turns into a question mark of Betty's house. Betty returns safely. So that's obviously where we want to go. So we're going to hop up through this combat and then we're going to come here and we're going to we're going to see Betty. All right, so we did that combat. Time to go up to Betty's house. And we need to murder, kill the farmer and keep Betty for ourselves. I know that sounds pretty dark but that's the one that gets you betty so if you want to unlock betty you got to murder the poor farmer if you're role playing maybe you don't want to do that but that's how you get betty all right on to the next one all right in order to unlock flamey who you can see right here every turn cast fire ember it's a pretty good card resistance Anyway, if you unlock them, you got to start by going into the hatch. So, if you have Cornelius, you have this extra option. He needs to roll higher than zero. I do have a few zeros in the deck, but we're going to risk it. Are we going to risk it? This is guaranteed, pretty much. Yeah, let's just do the guarantee. You can try this. Um, I would recommend unlocking Cornelius before you try to unlock Flamey. Um, if you need to know how to unlock Cornelius, I have a guide on uh, unlocking characters you can check out. All right, so we got all successes. Perfect, so we're into the hatch. So we need to go to the end, which is right here. So I'm going to get there, and I'll be back. All right, so once you get to the last node, you'll have to fight a group of monsters. And then after you fight them, here's where Cornelius comes into play. Uh, you can do this option, but you need a group higher than four, whereas if you do this option... You get it automatically. You do not want to fight him. If you fight him and win, you do get an item. It's a valuable item. It's used to unlock Maluka, one of the characters. But it's a different item from what we want. We want the item that we get from here. So let's uh, do this. Let's talk to him. So he gives us a scroll. Okay. So we're going to take this scroll and we're going to use it to unlock Flamey. All right. So once you finish the first area, you're going to want to take the red portal to the mountains first. Just to make sure you can unlock uh, your pet ASAP. You go to this node here it's just two away from the from the town you can see the icon so we go here we use the scroll and release the imps so they uh they, they start fighting the cultists you join in you help fight the cultists so i'm going to do that off camera i'll be back all right so i beat the cultists there's no cultists left alive so open the chest decide on flaming so we get a chest which includes Flamey. We already have a Flamey, so we're not going to take one, but that is how you unlock Flamey. Really good uh, pet for Cornelius or any Fire Mage. Flamey. Just like that. Alright, in order to unlock Leanta the Spider, you gotta come down to, you guessed it, Spider Cave. So let's go into the Spider Cave. So we need to make the skill check, or it won't go well. So hopefully we can make the skill check. We need greater than four, which is a roll of the dice. Okay, we got it. We got five. That's perfect. All right, so we head into the spiral air from there we go to this narrow gap because if you fail that check you come in this way instead and if you go that way you can't get up here so we go to this narrow gap and we take our chances with the gap i'm not sure if taking this works it might but i'm going to take my chances with the gap so i need lower than six so you know what for science let's try heiner's thing here all right, so we go through. Perfect. So we're here. Place to rest. 
open the mysterious cocoon. And we made a new friend. That means we have Leanta. Right here. There she is. Poisonous bite. Pretty good. Front monster. Deals five. Applies three poison. Real good in a poison deck. So, if you want to do it a little easier, take Heiner with you, right? Makes sense. I am not currently doing a poison deck, so I'm not going to take Leonta. Leonte? I don't know what that accent on the A means. But anyway, that's how you unlock Leanta, the spider, or your poison deck. All right, in order to unlock Mozzie, the mosquito, you need to come up to this event. Uh, it's not always going to be here. Obviously, this is blue rarity. It's not always going to be here. But when it is, if you don't have Mozzie, I highly recommend coming up. So you got to dive in the swamp and try to steal an egg. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we can do. We need higher than four. We may not get it. We got it. We definitely got it. So we got an egg. Now we just need it to hatch. So I will be back once we get her hatched. All right, so I'm up in the uh, Velcrath Mountains here. You can see the mosquito egg is indicated on the map. You can go a couple different ways to get here. They all work. I went this way, but it doesn't really matter. So let's go in and uh, see, what, see what we need to do here. Take, take out a small pot and boil the egg. No, let's place the egg near the lava to hatch. Yes, this is the, this is the one you want to do. You want to hatch it. Don't boil it. All right, small mosquito hatched from the egg. Mozzie is unlocked. Right there. Mozzie. And you can pick up some other stuff too if you want. So yeah, that's how you unlock Mozzie. And 5% uh, uh, slash resist. Every turn you cast Bloodsucker. This would be good if you're going with a Fury deck. Uh, other than that, it's not very good. But if you're going with a Fury build for one of your warriors, it would be... An amazing card. That's Mozzie. That's how you unlock him. Okay, to unlock Oculi, you need to come here to this Aqueduct node. Or so I've been told, as you can just see by the question marks, I haven't unlocked Oculi yet. You need to come here, and you, but you need to keep in mind, this is an uncommon event node, so it will not always be Aqueduct. It may be something else. But if it is Aqueduct, and you don't have Oculi, you might want to come here and grab oculi so to get here you need to come through the altar through here and here you can get to from either here or here but got to keep in mind either way you're taking a boat which costs money so make sure you have some gold uh on you when you leave town um i think it's six eight six or eight hundred gold for these boats i forget but i mean you'll get some from these nodes but just make sure you have some gold when you leave town head here for oculi uh i'm not sure exactly what you need to do because like i said i haven't done it so we will go figure that out when we get there i guess all right so it was 800 gold for this boat for the record and now we are at the aqueduct so let's see what we need to do here no we just accept if you don't have pets yet you take oculi with you pretty simple i guess all right <laughs> well just like that we get oculi card does he give yeah it's just a vision thing and uh madness or whatever you want to call it yeah that's but that's okay it's pretty simple just a matter of uh the matter of getting there and having it spawn i guess because like i said that event is not always there all right so that's oculi all right so the next pet we're going to unlock is sharpie for Sharpie, you need to come to the Valkrath Mountains, and you need to come here first before you go to the marsh. Keep that in mind. You need to come here first, and you need to go all the way up here in this top, um, a little to the right here, the Harpy Nest. So you can go up this side. You can go up this way. Either path doesn't matter. You can take this. You can take this. As long as you end up here at the Harpy Nest, that's the key. Before you go to the marsh, like I said. So I'm gonna fight my way up there, and we'll get there, and I'll show you the next step. All right, so I made it up and around. I am here to the Harpy Nest, the Harpy Matriarch. Now, keep in mind, this does involve uh, fighting a Harpy mini boss. You can try to sneak away, but that will not get you the pet. So we're going to face the Matriarch head on. And I'm going to fight her, and I'll be back to show you the next step. All right, so after you defeat the Matriarch, you will take the loot option. It is the only option here. Find blah, blah, blah. 
get some shards, whatever. But the real key item will be up in the top here. Once we get through this, uh, do we need any of this stuff? What do we got here? No, none of this is any good. So let's just take the money. And you will see, we now have the Harpy Egg, which is what we wanted. So now we just finish this level and make our way to the Aquafall Marsh for the next step. And I just want to point out, now, before we get to the Marsh step, you will need 800 gold for the step in the Marsh. So make sure you have 800 gold. Very important. All right, so the next step is to get to this altar in the middle of the map right here. In order to get here, you need to come to this boat cellar right here. This is why you need the 800 gold to pay for the ferry. Cross the water to here and then to here. Um, there's a bunch of different routes to get to this point. You can come down this way. You can come down this way, this way, actually this way. Just make sure you get here with 800 gold in hand. That's all that really matters. Then we're going to come here and we're going to get Sharpie. All right, so we made it across the water. We did the temple stairs. So now it's time to head to the altar. We're obviously going to take this one that has the egg icon next to it. Continue. Place the harpy egg near the altar. Beautiful. We get a bunch of XP. And then we get Sharpie. So it gives you ranged or piercing resistance. And every turn, the spells won. And you gain some speed. That's pretty nice. The spell can be very nice. That's Sharpie. That's how you unlock Sharpie. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. All right. I will be back with the next one. All right. To unlock Stormy, you need to come to the green portal to the marsh. And you need to come down to the outskirts. And then to the eastern empty village. And then down to this boat cellar. So you will need money. Seems like a lot of these um, are in the marsh and you need money from the boat sellers. And then you take the boat to here, and then to here. So let's uh, let's start with this. We gotta go here first, step by step, one at a time. Stormy, here we come. All right, so we did this first combat and now we go down to this empty village and we're gonna wanna take the look option, which will give us this. Nega notes in her bag of useful items. So now we need to make our way to the boat cellar. We can go either way, and it is like I said before, 800 gold to do the to do the boat to here, which is what we're gonna do. As you can see, this is now our goal right here. You can see the nega notes there. Good hint. We're gonna head there now. All right. So we did the combat. We took the boat. Did the other combats. So now we're gonna head here in the lightning room so we're going to want to read we're going to want to decipher the mural using the Nagas notes obviously as you know the little icon kind of <laughs> leads you in the direction that you want to go Ooh, level up is always good and more importantly stormy every ca every turn cast a lightning bolt nothing wrong with that um so that's probably i have all the pets already but I'm going to put it on him because we're not really doing poison right now. But that's not important to you. That's how you get stormy. All right. Last but not least is slimy. So in order to lock slimy, you need to come to the green portal. <laughs> Naturally, most of them seem to be in this zone. And once again, you're going to want to have some money on you. Although this time it's not for the fairy. Um, you need at least 400 gold. And we're going to go down the left side here to this uh, Lizardman tribe village. Um, 600 gold is ideal. And we're, we're going to head down to this village and I'll show you why you need the money. All right. So we're going to head into this village here. And we're going to want to buy a homemade slime bait for 400 gold. This is what we need for slimy. Now you can make your path a little easier if you also buy the hammer and nails. So you can buy both items at the discount for 600. So I'm going to do that here. Um, and then we're going to come here and we'll see why. We take the hammer and nails, um, lets us repair the, the boards. We basically build a bridge and all of a sudden we're here. So we're almost here. This is where we're going again. So I'm just going to keep making my way and we'll show you what to do once we get in there. All right. So once you get into spider cave, you're going to want to head towards this node here. The, as you can see by the slime bait um, icon, uh, doesn't matter whether you come in here or here either way you can get here just if you come to this one make sure do not take the uh do not go into the gap because that will mean you cannot get down here for the slime bait so we come down here 
We throw the slime bait away. And what do you know? Slimey. The last one. That's all the pets. We already have slimy unlocked. We don't need them right now. But that's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If it did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, join my Discord. But most importantly, have a great day. Be good to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.